My name is uh, James Wilson Pearson, and I am a great, great, great grandson of David Wilson, who was the leader of the Children of Peace, who built this magnificent structure behind us here. They started construction of this building in 1825. They completed it in 1832. The temple is uh, 60 feet square. It has an equal number of windows on all four sides. It has a door on all four sides. It all represents equality because that was one of the cornerstones of the Children of Peace. While all four sides of this building, as I said, were, were equal, this, the east side of the building that faced the street was certainly the entrance that was used the most. If I have to look at a picture of the temple, I usually have to look at the background to know what side of the building I'm looking at. Inside the, the building itself are two distinct features. One is the Jacob's Ladder that leads to the second story. The second story was where the band played. The band supplied the music and they would parade here and the band would go up the stairs carrying their instruments. The other feature in the temple is the ark. The ark was built in 1832. It was built by John Doan, Ebenezer Doan's brother, and it is of walnut. It took approximately a year to build. There are no nails in it. It is put together with wooden pegs. The building is very unique because of the amount of glass glass was very expensive because there was none made here in Canada and all the original glass which there's still about 35 percent of the original glass in this building was all made in England it was hand blown which is how they made glass in those days and shipped out here the children of peace ceased to exist in 1889 in the fall of 1889 the last services were held here in the temple and there were seven present at it. From 1889 to 1917, the building sat derelict. It was vandalized. A lot of the glass was broken at that time in the windows. The building is three stories, and on the very top is a, a golden ball, and it represents peace in the world. The original ball actually had the word peace written on it. The original members of the Children of Peace were all Quakers. In 1812, uh, David Wilson left the local Quaker meeting and about six other families came with him and they started the group that was known as the Children of Peace. They started the first non-military band in Canada and it played, as I said earlier, in the temple. Uh, in their meeting houses, which they had two other meeting houses, they had organs, which they commissioned and had built. They commissioned and had built the first organ ever built in Canada, and it was a barrel organ, and we still have it, it is in the temple. Over here is uh, the barrel organ that I referred to, built in 1819. You can see the barrel in the, in the middle of it, and there was two barrels. There was 10 songs on each barrel, and by moving the barrel, sliding it 3 eighths of an inch sideways, you could change the song. Similar to the Quakers, they sat segregated, uh, women on uh, the south side, men on the north. The children could sit with either parent. This uh, building was filled entirely with little chairs similar to these wooden chairs that are here. It held about 320 and they all faced in, facing the ark. These little chairs that are sitting in front of it are original chairs. When you became a member, the local chair maker made you a chair and if you look closely, you can tell that there's no two of them the same. These chairs still have the name on them, so we know who they belong to originally. This little building uh, 
was David Wilson's study, or his office, if you will. It was built in uh, 1829. They built it even while they were constructing the temple. It was given to him by his congregation. It originally sat just a little down the street and right out on the edge of the street. Wilson used it uh, to uh, write his sermons and his music and uh, this type of thing. Plus, he could see the comings and goings in the village. Some people look at it with the arches on the outside and say it's the temple turned inside out. The temple has the arches on the inside, this one has them on the outside. So the temple was used uh, for three special feast days. One of them was on the first Friday in September and it was known as the harvest of the first fruits. On the Friday evening they came here and they illuminated the temple. You, there's a candle in every window on all three stories and on the, in the lanterns out on the corners of the building. We have a website, uh, SharonTemple.ca. Our phone number is 905-478-2389. We're located at 18,974 Leslie Street in the village of Sharon in the town of East Gwillimbury. they built the second meeting house which no longer exists but it was similar construction with the arches on the outside rather than the inside although it was a much bigger building it was 50 by 100. They had a choir and the choir stood around the ark facing the ark. The music came down from above and they sang hymns that David Wilson their leader had written for the occasion. He wrote different hymns or words to the music each time it was used in the temple. So the same hymn was never sung twice. The man who led the construction of it was a man by the name of Ebenezer Doan. He was a, a Quaker from uh, Pennsylvania who came to this country in 1808. And the, the Dones were uh, very skilled builders. They built many of the more uh, impressive buildings in, in Pennsylvania, across New York, down into uh, West Virginia. David Wilson was a very prolific writer. During his lifetime, he wrote 17 books. He wrote uh, music, he wrote poetry, he wrote eulogies. He was also a very charismatic individual. It was one of the reasons, I suppose, that the Children of Peace died out because when he passed away in 1866, there was nobody with the same charismatic nature to follow him. And they began to drift away.